Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's node is the U replace material node. So we're going to jump into Fusion and we've got a setup. We've got a little sphere with a uh, color type material set on it right now. We've got a dome light in the background and it's a simple dome light. It is uh, just the uh, little HDRI we did the other day. Well, yesterday in our creating an HDRI tutorial. And uh, one thing we may want to do when we're building this uh, is replace materials, whether it's on one material or all. And on some of our nodes, like our shape node here, we've got the ability just to go up here and change our material. So we can select material X, which we went over yesterday. And I can go find a material X. And uh, we can load that and we've got a new material. Now, some things don't allow us to add materials directly to the actual shapes. So if I bring in a U loader and let's go ahead and load up our little cube we've used before. Let's input that. Let's add a U transform so we can move our cube over. Let's move it down. Let's go ahead and transform our sphere as well. So it's out of the way of our cube. Now our cube, if we notice, we don't have any uh, material settings on the node itself because it's just loading the materials that came along with this USD asset we have. So we can use the U replace materials node. And on this node, we have the ability to use type texture or material X. So we can come in here and change the diffuse color. And we can change our workflow mode, whether it's metallic or specular. So we can add a little metallicness to it, change our roughness. So it's a little shiny and we can also load material X materials. So we can browse and uh, let's go find a different one and add material. And now we've got our material loaded on our little cube. And even though our sphere and all that stuff has the ability to change our material, we could load a U replace material behind this node as well. And additionally, we can use one node to change multiple things. So after our merge, we could add another U replace materials, bring it down, and it's going to replace all the materials that are above that node. So we can come in here and we can change our color. And we can change the metallic and the roughness of those objects as well. And additionally, we can go and we can assign a material X to both these nodes. So now they both have that uh, material on it. Additionally, we can choose which one we want to change. So if we come up to this pick, we can find our uh, little shapes that we want to change. Now, the other day when we were talking about the U transform node, we wanted to make sure we were selecting our X form, which uh, houses all of our data for transforms. Now, when we're using material nodes, we want to make sure we're selecting the meshes. So if I want to change this sphere, I can select this mesh and hit OK. And now it's only going to change that one. But since it's the same material, I can go ahead and browse a different material. And load that up. And now we've got our material on there. Additionally, we can select multiple objects within here. So if I go back to our prim select, I can find that mesh and then look for our cube, which was in our loader node. We've got our cube, but that's our transform data. We want to find that mesh data. If I hit control and select that, select OK. It's going to change both materials. So that is the U replace material node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.